Hey, what is up everyone? This is Tyler G of Batman Figs on Instagram. And today I am coming to you from a more intimate place. This is my bedroom. And the reason for that is, if you don't want to have to look at this ugly mug in HD, you can check out my toy collection while we go over the review. So today's Batman Animated Series episode review is on the episode titled Harley Quinnade. And if you've seen the new uh, Batman vs. Harley Quinn, or Batman and Harley Quinn animated movie that came out this year, it's very similar in plot and story, but with also some pretty different things as well. And also it was one of the first episodes where we started to learn more about Harley Quinn herself and her backstory. So it's I think overall it's a pretty um, historic episode in terms of building up Harley Quinn's character. And I think this episode may have a lot to do with why her character is so popular and why um, that popularity exploded to the point where Bruce Timm and Paul Dini created her just for a one-off um, episode in the show and decided to keep her around. And now she's in comics and in huge blockbuster movies. So yeah, it's a very cool episode. And it starts out with Joker getting his hands on an atomic bomb and he's going to blow up Gotham. Not for ransom. He's not threatening to do it. He just wants to blow it up. Typical Joker stuff. And Batman is naturally worried. So he enlists him and Robin enlist the help of Harley Quinn. Thinking that, hey, she doesn't want to die. She doesn't want to get blown up. Maybe she'll help us and give us some insight to the Joker. Which will allow us to stop him. Little did we know that we would finally get some insight into the character of Harley Quinn herself and learn more about her backstory, which is very cool because up until this point, all we've really gotten to know about Harley Quinn is she's funny, has a hilarious accent, good comedic timing on one-liners, and knows how to push Mr. J's buttons. And this is before Mad Love because Mad Love was in the season four, The New Adventures of Batman. So this is like the first time that we hear that she used to be a psychologist at Arkham and that she's actually a smart girl, that she's not just a bimbo that just loves the Joker, that she actually had a lot of stuff going for her. And that's what's even more of a mystery is why does this woman that was a doctor and had all this going for her decide to throw it all away? For Joker. It's kind of like what we went over in the Terrible Trio video where it's like these guys that are all rich have everything. Why even mess that up? But we get to see also not only a little bit of Harley Quinn's backstory, but I think the part that a lot of us should relate to, and I'm pretty sure most people do relate to, is the fact that we see Batman ask Harley Quinn, like, what's the draw? Like, why... Why do you put up with the Joker? He mentally abuses you. He physically abuses you. And he really doesn't even, even give one care or, you know, I want to say another word, but he does not care about you, Harley. Like, why do you put up with it? And her response is like, oh, he's just joking. That's just how he is. And like, if you've seen a friend that's in a terrible relationship, that might sound pretty familiar. But... It's kind of sad, but you can understand why she does it. Doesn't mean it's right, but I think that aspect of her character in this episode really started to um, get a lot of people to connect to her and feel for her. And in turn, as a result of that, I feel like that is one of the main reasons her popularity exploded. Because you see she's just a normal person that made some wrong decisions and she's a little brainwashed and doesn't want to admit that, which no one wants to admit when they're wrong, right? No one does. So that's kind of tragic, but that's also the reason I feel a lot of people relate to her. And at the end, you almost see her break free from the Joker, and you feel like she's finally putting her foot down and saying, you know what, not anymore. But it doesn't end up how we would hope. And... In the end, she ends up staying with Mr. J 
and staying in that terrible relationship. But I really do think that this episode is important to the history of Harley Quinn. And it was before Mad Love, remember, so we didn't have the complete backstory. This is all we had, and it's kind of fun to piece together what could have been, like, if you were seeing this and didn't know anything else, like, man, what was she like? Why did she do this? But thank goodness we eventually did get a story that explained all of that, but man, it was a very fun episode, very cool, again, very relatable, and I think that if you haven't seen it, it's a must. There's even a great musical number. And it's not by Blondie, but it is a pretty funny song. And it explains a lot about Harley Quinn's relationship with the Joker, actually, and just that song. So, definitely need to check this episode out. If you are a Harley Quinn fan, if you haven't already, go check it. Um, I also want to thank you guys for your support and your enjoyment of um, my Instagram page. As hopefully you guys enjoy this. I know it's not the best quality videos, but I'm trying my best with what I have. And for those of you that are understanding of that and support me, thank you very much. It means the world to me because I really do enjoy this community and the toy community and just the Batman fan community because I met some really cool people through this and really like surprised by the fact that some people I probably wouldn't even, that I've met I probably would never even have talked to or hung out with in real life but because of our common interest in Batman I've met some really great people and I just want to say thank you for that so if you feel so inclined please give me a like please subscribe and follow if you want to see more pictures I have tons over a thousand at Instagram and my handle is Batman Figs Batman F-I-G-S I hope I see you guys over there um, please never feel shy about trying to talk to me or contact me I try I don't even try I do respond to every single person because no one wants to feel ignored so I hope you guys have a great day I hope um, I continue to see you guys and I hope I continue to progress in my videos and get better each time. But I'm extremely lucky and happy that some of you are going on this journey with me from the beginning. So thank you very much. And I will see you soon.